Welcome, Welcome to Going Steady. Steady. My name is Marcus. And my name is Shamali. Thank you so much for clicking on our video. We got a question from one of our viewers and we decided to answer it today. Now, we're not relationship experts or anything, but we value healthy relationships. And as we experience things in our life, we decided to share them with you. So if this is your first time watching and you'd like to learn how to maintain healthy relationships, hit that subscribe button. But if this is not your first time watching, it's about time you hit it. <laughs> As you can see from the title, we got a question from one of our viewers asking us what to do if their partner isn't willing to change. This is what they said. What do you do if your partner is not willing to take or make corrections to the things that hurt you? So let's get right into the video. When you get into a relationship, some people expect it to be perfect. And when they get into any problems, they think that the partner either doesn't care or they don't love them enough. While others know that the relationship is not perfect, but they have intentions of changing their partner. So if you found yourself in any one of these categories, we hope that these will help you. So feel free to pause, replay, or give this video a thumbs up at any point. First of all, we need to understand that we do not have the power to change anyone. God himself has the power to change us into anything he would have wanted us to be. But he still gives us the freedom of choice. It's in the acceptance of God's love and understanding his principles that we choose to change. If your partner is not taking corrections, aka is willing to change, then it's possible that they think one of these things. They don't see their behavior as a problem, so they are not listening or they disregard your concern and classify it as a personal problem and not something that they should take responsibility for. They feel like you're controlling them or giving them an ultimatum. They think they're flawless. They're too proud to admit that they need to correct something about their character. So they think they know it all or their way is the best way. They accept their faults but don't know how to resolve the issue. They feel like you don't appreciate who they are and you just want to change them. They're dealing with a lot of things in their life that they are not communicating with you, so emotionally they are occupied. And you telling them about something over and over adds to their stress. As a result, they've closed off their minds to listening to you, and since they may have been doing it for so long, now they just don't care. So, let's figure out what to do to help our partner realize that they're hurting us. So if they don't see that their behavior is a problem, when there's a problem, say it so they get it. And try to be as honest as possible about your feelings. Ask them to express their understanding of the problem. So if they feel like you're giving them an ultimatum or you're trying to control them, what you can do is ask them to express how they feel about the problem. Try to be aware of your attitude when you're expressing this, as well as your body language, the words you use, and of course your tone. So if they think they're flawless, you have to use constructive criticism, outlining their behavior, discuss the impact the behavior has on the relationship, and then get an agreement of how things should change going forward. This one's the easy one. I mean, if your partner is willing, meaning that they accept their flaws, but they don't know what to do in order to resolve the problem and fix the relationship, this one's as easy as just giving them some options as to what they can do to make amends. Yes. This one is a very common one where they feel like you don't appreciate them and you're just trying to change them. Just show them that you appreciate them. Give them regular compliments so that when you express to them that they did something wrong, they'll understand that you are just genuinely concerned. So if they're dealing with a lot in their lives, like we're all human, like we all deal with stuff that we don't even talk about, we don't even realize, we haven't even prayed about. So in a relationship, to handle that, you have to create an environment beforehand that both partners are able to communicate and express their opinions freely and do regular check-ins on your partner so that you'll know when it's the best time to bring something up and they'll be more open to accepting what you have to say. Oh yeah, this timing is everything. Then you don't want to catch someone in a bad moment, mm. in a bad mood. You want to make sure that they are open to listening to you and you're not just forcing something on them. Mm. So if you find that your partner is not willing to make or take corrections to the things that hurt you, it's very important that we first look at ourselves and see what we may be doing. Our approach. 
how we speak to them. And of course, the last thing that was mentioned, your timing. You know, Ephesians 4 verse 15 says, speak the truth in love. Mm. So even God gives us instruction in how to correct someone or to help them improve on something that is hurting you without offending them yeah. or hurting them as a result. Because yes. that wouldn't make any sense. If you're coming to them, telling them that they're hurting you and then you're going to turn around and hurt them back and then it's just going to be crazy. Yeah. So just follow the biblical principles of how to talk to your spouse. So as you're expressing your feelings to your partner, make sure that it is drizzled with humility, patience, and kindness. Make sure that you are not self-seeking about what you can get from it, but more what you can do to help to improve the relationship. Because ultimately, it is about what's best for the relationship and the marriage. So we hope that this answered your question. Thank you for sending us your question. If anyone else has any questions that they'd like us to answer or help you with, feel free to email us at keepongoingsteady at gmail.com. Please like this video if you've got this far and subscribe if you haven't already. Well, that's all we have for you today. Until next time, keep, keep going, going steady. steady.